If you have an iPhone or a treadmill, we may have some good news for you. Our Let's Show No team has four class action lawsuits that are paying out hundreds of dollars. All new this morning, Joe Ducey walks us through what's involved and how to know if you qualify. iPhones come with free iCloud storage. If you want more capacity, you pay a monthly fee. But if you think your info is always stored on Apple servers. Apple was actually storing your iCloud data, not on Apple servers, but on third party servers. And all of us pay a premium to put everything on Apple. Topclassaction.com Scott Hardy says allegations are it happened between September 16, 2015 and January 31st, 2016. If you had an iCloud subscription then, you could get part of the $14 million settlement. It's a $453 million settlement for users of the diabetes drug Glumetsa. Allegations are price fixing and raising the prices of generic drugs. If you bought between May 6, 2012 and August 15, 2020, you could qualify for money based on how much you bought. But it had to be bought through the makers, not at store pharmacies. If you have a Bowflex, Nautilus, or Schwinn treadmill and you bought between July 7, 2016 and November 16 last year, you could get part of a $7 million lawsuit settlement. Allegations are the maker, Nautilus, inflated the horsepower ratings to raise prices. Finally, graduation rings and yearbooks. If you bought one from Herf Jones Company, you could be due money. All of a sudden, people were buying their class rings and finding out that, oh, I just got a $100 charge. I got a $50 charge. A data breach exposed credit information. A lawsuit alleges the company didn't protect consumers enough. If you used a card to pay between May 12th and June 18th, 2021, you could get a $75 payment or up to $5,000 if you can prove fraud. None of the businesses admit any wrongdoing. Deadlines to file a claim are coming up fast. Go to abc15.com slash let Joe know and see if you qualify. I'm Investigator Joe Deuce. If you got a problem, let me know.